hello friends today in this tutorial i'll be showing you that how basically we can read the content of a excel file inside the browser using html form here you can see basically this is basically the application here we have got a simple choose file button out there and if i click this button i will be able to select my excel file let me select this file employees.xlx as i select this you will see it will now contain the headers which is id name age country it is displaying it in a nice little bootstrap table and you will see that it contains two rows three four columns id name age country and two rows if i select a different file here let's suppose users file you will now see id name age country i can also cross verify also if i open this file which is the users in the microsoft excel you will see it will now contain the same columns same rows out there four rows are there name age country and id so we are successfully displaying parsing the response out there and displaying it inside the table so for this tutorial we are using a library called as read excel file inside the browser so if you just type this read excel file this is the library and uh, basically it's a node.js module or also you can use it inside your javascript library as well as a cdn so we are using it in a cdn in the browser itself so i have written a complete blog post on my tutorial website in the description of this video you can go to it and copy paste all the source code so let's get started so the very first thing you need to do you need to go to the description of the blog post and simply copy paste the cdn of read excel file i have already copy pasted it you will see that and also we have copy pasted the cdn of bootstrap css for styling the tables so right here basically in the html we will have the container class of bootstrap and inside this basically we will have a simple input type of file and here we will allow the user to select the excel file so we will give it an id file input and basically it will be required and after this we will have a simple table where we will be displaying the content of the excel file we will be giving a class to it of table table bordered this is basically the bootstrap classes and also we will be giving an id to it of excel table so that we can target it inside the javascript that's all and we will only be accepting excel files so we will give in accept accept attribute it's a form validation attribute so we will only be accepting the excel files this is all the html now we just need to include the javascript part here so right here inside script section just include your script.js so right here we will now make a simple file script.js in the root directory so if you now open this here you will have a choose file button it will only accept the excel files you will see that you can only select the excel files out there so now inside your javascript guys so as soon as we select any file out there using this input field first of all we need to get references of all the input dom elements so we will get a reference to the input element document dot get element by id get element by id so inside this basically we will give give the id which we have given to the input field in the index.html we will see that now we also need to get the reference to the table document dot get element by id and here we have given the id which is excel table and now we will attach basically a event listener to the input element by guys so this event listener will be on change so whenever the file is changed or selected this event will automatically gets fired automatically and inside this callback function we will get the access to the file which the user has selected so event dot target dot files dot zero that's all so this basically will be the file which the user selects after this we can use the library which basically is called as read xls file and inside this guy is basically this basically it's a method which is there inside this library which is read excel file that we have included the cdn here you will see that 
so here basically it takes a method and it contains the actual file to be read so we are passing the excel file and it returns the promise dot then and now it will return the number of rows which are there inside this excel file so we can basically console log rows out there and uh, now let me just refresh the application and go to inspect element go to console it is saying that document is not defined let me say okay document so now basically if you select a file here excel file you will see now it will contain number of rows out there guys you will see this is basically the first header row which contains the columns id name age country then it contains the number of rows this is the first record second record third record fourth record indexing start from zero like this so in this way we are reading all the uh, rows of the excel file and now we just need to display it inside the HTML5 table. So instead we will basically clear out the content of the table. We will simply say table.innerHTML to be nothing. And then basically we will add the rows. So we will use a for each loop for each row. And here we'll use a for each loop and for each row out there we will construct a table data tag. So we will use document.create element. We will create a dynamic element called as TD. And inside this we will manipulate the text content of it. And this will be equal to the cell value like this. And then basically we will simply append sorry here we just need to create the table row so this will be called as table row inside table row okay i think we have made a mistake here so we just need to use the for each loop here and for each row out there we just need to construct a table row out there document dot create element and uh, for each row out there we have uh, the data that we need to display so for each row out there we will construct basically our table data so this will be document dot create element td and the data td dot text content this will be equal to the cell value like this and we will append this table data to the table row by using append child which is the javascript method we will pass table data that's all and lastly we just need to add this table row to the table that we constructed we are targeting it by its id so we are simply outside this loop we will simply say table dot append child and we will pass the table row that's all so now this will display the data guys and now if i refresh it and let's suppose if i select this you will now see this is the header row this is first row second row third row fourth row if i change the excel file let's suppose to this one you will see that so here we are simply uh, displaying the excel file inside the html table using read excel file library it makes it really easy to display that details so all the source code is given in the description of this video thank you very much for watching this video